before we go on to start putting our timing belts and stuff on we need to align the crankshaft and the cam camshaft then as you remember we need to there's a notch here on the crankshaft pulley that we need to align with this mark right here on top of the oil pump and uh, you know since we made sure before we put the cylinder heads on all the valves are closed we can just turn our crankshaft and line it up there we go it's all lined up now that we marked that up that means all the the pistons are only halfway up and now we can turn our camshaft and we need to line up our marks as you remember we need to line up this mark with this notch at the back of the the timing belt cover and we need to line up this mark with this with this mark right here that's that one and here's this one okay next water pump make sure you're using a new gasket okay next it's time to torque them down and it's uh, we torque them down to nine foot per pounds uh, the way you're supposed to the pattern is supposed to according to the book you're supposed to start from here and go counterclockwise torquing them down to nine foot per pounds then for the second time you do it again and then you torque them down to nine foot per pounds again okay Next, we install this, uh, this coolant hose. Okay, now we're gonna start putting our rollers and tensioner. We're gonna start with this uh, roller right here. And we're gonna torque this down to 30 foot per pounds. Next, we put in our tensioner and we bolt it down to also 30 foot per pound. Okay, it's nice. Next, it's time to put in our uh, timing belt. What I'd like to do is start at the right side camshaft, put the timing belt on, get my trusty zip tie, get it in here, and tighten it. Make sure it stays in place. Like that. Then I like to run it across this roller, and then around the crankshaft. Make sure this is tight like this, and underneath the tensioner. Okay, here's the tricky part of this timing belt job. Um, in order to get all the slack out of here, you're gonna have to turn this back a little bit, this camshaft back a little bit. Well, actually, we're gonna have to turn it back up to here because it's spring loaded, it's gonna snap back as we do it counterclockwise. But don't worry, nothing is gonna hit anything again because if you got the line on your crankshaft lined up, all the pistons are gonna be at uh, halfway up the, the cylinder wall, so nothing is gonna come into contact with anything. So we're just gonna turn this down. And as you saw it snapped back then we're gonna turn this back up and then we're gonna have to just put this in at the right right time so we can get all the slack out it's gonna take you a couple of tries probably but then when you get it you can just know that uh, you get all the slack out then we use the zip tie that we got already up here to tie it down not too soon soon again there we go line everything up that's perfect get that in there and I you probably can't see it but everything is lined up there's no slack here hardly any slack and also hardly any slack here. Our timing marks are still in place. So next we're gonna run this around the water pump. And we're gonna put this this uh, this roller here. Okay, this is gonna be harder than it looks, but you just you know put the put this on here and then use this as leverage, you push it, push it down, and then you'll fit it in there, and then you can just start twisting. Don't go at a side, you know, don't go, don't force it too much if the bolt is not turning. As easy as it should, don't force it, you're gonna ruin the, the threads and then we'll have a hard time with that. And this also gets torqued down to 30 foot per pounds. Okay, 
last but not least this uh, last roller here same same thing same kind of uh, technique you used to install that one you'll need to use to install this one just here yeah, this is going to line a lot easier actually this also gets torqued down to 30 foot per pounds. Next we cut we cut our zip ties and then we do a test run where we rotate the crankshaft twice and then make sure all our uh, marks line up. Oh yeah, it's a minor detail I almost forgot. Don't forget to pull this pin from your tensioner. This is gonna when you pull that it's gonna apply tension to your belt. That's kind of important. All right. There we go. Okay, here's a look at our timing marks. Everything lines up, perfect. Next we put in our uh, this timing belt cover and we tighten down all the 11 bolts that hold it in place. Next we put in our harmonic balancer, paying attention to the to the notch and the key that's on the crankshaft. You gotta line those up. Okay, next we need to torque this down to our crank bolt down to 30, 132 foot per pounds. Um, since I don't have the special tools that holds this in place, I thought I'd give this a try. You know, you put your extensions inside these holes. Then I'm gonna use my pry bar like this to hold it in place. I'm gonna torque, use my torque wrench to torque it down. Okay, next we put the, our uh, left side timing belt cover. Next it's time to put in our uh, coolant pipe, making sure we replace these two o-rings here. Yeah, I don't have a torque spec for this, but I'm gonna go to uh, 10 foot per pounds for these bolts. Okay, next we put our intake manifold gaskets on and we're gonna drop in our uh, intake manifold. Okay, next we torque them down to uh, 18 foot per pounds. So basically what we're going to do next is just go around and uh, reconnect all the connectors we took off at part one. Make sure we put that EGR pipe in the back, that guy in place and uh, yeah that's it. The way I'm going to get this ready for uh, for its first start is to basically, I'm going to put oil in it going to take out all the spark plugs, going to disable the fuel system, the ignition system, just crank the engine over for about 15 to 20 seconds and uh, you know it should build up uh, oil pressure probably about 20 seconds uh, for sure and then uh, I'm going to put everything, put the spark plug back in and have it uh, start the car and hope for the best. Hopefully it won't be this this uh, this ending of today's video series won't be an epic fail. <laughs> it won't start knocking or something, something like that. But uh, but uh, I'm pretty confident it'll be fine. But anyway, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're on our way to uh, to where it's the place where I'm having uh, my guy put in the engine. Thought I'd give you a shot of the trip. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. We are here. Okay, guys, here we go. So, just got here. So, we got the engine in. Well, I didn't, but my guy did. And, uh, you know, we cranked the engine for like 15 20 seconds without the spark plugs, without anything, and without the, and the fuel fuel uh, fuel system dis, uh, disabled. And it cranked well. I mean, no funny noises, which is always good. So, just uh, put everything back together. Now we're ready for our first start. Here's a look at the car. There's our engine. Got no leaks that uh, that I can see. Well, now I mean there shouldn't be any leaks, but uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna now get in the car and uh, crank it. Oh. <laughs> Hope it all goes well. Okay. Well, uh, when I crank it, I'm gonna if it runs, well, it should run. But when it runs, we're just gonna let it idle for a couple of minutes. Um, 
make sure everything good uh, lubes up and everything before we start revving it but uh gonna let it idle for a while when I uh, when I first start it okay so far so good I mean I hear a small what sounds to me like an exhaust leak from from this side but as far as the engine goes it's it's running pretty smooth um, one thing to notice though that uh, this thing uh, idled fine anyway <laughs> when I first got it with the knock it idled fine it idled just like this but it only knocks when I uh, rev the engine so gonna have to let it run for a couple of minutes before I uh, rev the engine and hopefully it will sound uh, just as good when we rev it okay All right, not too bad, huh? Sounded pretty good to me. Uh, I'm still hesitant to rivet really high, but uh, definitely no knocking issues. And it's idling pretty good. Nothing leaking from the bottom, which is always good. And no check engine lights, which is always nice. All right, gonna call this uh, series the uh, finished. It was a lot of hard work. Uh, I'm sure this is going to end up helping a lot of people out there. Uh, well, I hope. That's my hope at least. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the series. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more like it. And I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.